Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps in the building. So, how young do I look today, you guys? Like, I feel like whenever I've got my natural hair out and it's like super short, it makes me look like I'm like 15 or 16. <laughs> Plus, I guess the headband isn't matching, but oh well. Um, so today we're going to be talking about my February Sephora plate box. I got this a little while ago, so I'm finally getting around to just opening up with you guys and, you know, sharing what I got. Yeah, and I think it's, it's going to be a pretty good month. Don't forget, comment down below. I want to know which product you guys like the most out of the stuff that I'm going to show you and also if you're curious about my hair I do have a video coming out and um, I basically compared two deep conditioners so um, that'll be coming out next so you don't want to miss that if you're not subscribed click that button down below do so now if you're an oldie but a goodie subby I'm so happy to see you again welcome back and uh, let's get started so this month's uh, bag looks just uh, like this it's you know supposed to be Valentine's Day themed it says smitten on the bottom here and hashtag Sephora play it's really really cute I love this like dusty rose coloring and it almost looks or feels like satin I love that it's like a very classy bag and they also sent uh, this little pamphlet here so whenever you get a box you also get a little pass here so you can go into the Sephora counter if you want you can get a little mini makeover and you also get 50 extra uh, beauty insider points when you purchase something you get to bring this card in so that's really nice and then also on the inside you open it up They've got all the products here, and then you can open it up even more, and it basically tells you how to use everything. So that's really handy if you're somebody who's a beginner, or you know, getting a bunch of new products kind of intimidates you. They pretty much list how to use them, and um, yeah, so it makes it really, really easy. Let's dive into this bag. So the first thing that I got is the Clinique. Pepstar Hydro Blur Moisturizer. So this little guy here is supposed to be a moisturizer meets primer type of product. So what you can do is obviously you can put this under your makeup and it's supposed to help control shine and also hydrate the skin. Now it does uh, blur like any imperfections you have to give you like a flawless finish or at least that's what they claim. Um, they also list a tip, so you should like put this in your bag. So throughout the day, if you're noticing your makeup is kind of falling apart or looking dry in some places, you can put this on, like just dab it over your makeup. So I'm thinking like under the eyes or something like that, which is pretty cool. So I'm excited to try this out. Ooh, what's next? So let's see, next is the, oh, it's a mascara. So this is the Sephora Lash Craft Length and Volume Mascara. So if you guys watch a lot of my videos, you'll know that I do have like single eyelash extensions. So I really don't use a lot of like conventional mascara very often um, because it's not good for the actual longevity of my lashes. So usually I'll use my own mascara that's supposed to be meant for eyelash extensions. Um, but this will definitely be going in like a little giveaway pile. Um, but I will let you guys know what Sephora says about this product. So they do say that it has a flat wand that's supposed to be designed to lift the lashes, which is pretty amazing. And it has a nylon infused formula, which is supposed to keep your lashes from clumping so that they kind of separate nicely and fan out. Okay, next up. Oh, okay. So this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy, you know, lip gloss. And this looks like it's like a very light peachy color, but let me just swatch this on my hand for a second. Oh, it's nice. It's like peachy, but it's really translucent. So even though it can be quite light, I think it'd be nice. Like you guys almost can't even see it. You see like a hint of a shimmer. Um, if you're going to make your own like nude kind of lip combo, you know, with some browns or some lighter browns or whatever, you can put this on top to give it like a glossy finish and just use it sparingly so that it's kind of like clear and you see here that like glossy hint, you know what I mean? You'll just have that on your lips. So that's like a really good tip if you're 
darker and something like this color won't straight up work you can always incorporate it as like a nice finishing touch you know what I mean to give it that like luminosity on the lips all right let's see what's next Ooh, okay so this is uh, a NARS creamy lip gloss and this is in the color bound I've actually used this about twice already because I kind of wanted to try it out and it is like a lighter pinky color I do have it on my lips right now and I how I handle this is like when I have lighter colors that would kind of look ridiculous on me <laughs> by themselves what I do is I mix them with a darker color so I have Anastasia fudge on the outer parts and then I have the bound on the inner parts of my lips and I think it looks really nice it's kind of like a girly lip combo but what I really like about this is it's a lightweight formula and also has natural oils so it's designed to help your lips stay moisturized now it does have like a lip glossy feel to it, so it's not matte whatsoever, but I found that it, it lasts pretty well throughout the day. So I really like this and I kind of want to check out more colors from um, their line because I think the formula is really great. Next up we have this Origins Eye Cream. Now it's spelled Jin Zing. I'm assuming it has ginseng in it, like the herb. Let me check. So yeah, it does, I'm looking at this little sheet right here, it does have ginseng in it and coffee beans and magnolia extract which is supposed to brighten and de-puff the under eye area. I mean look, I'm a girl that doesn't get a lot of sleep. I'm usually editing late into the night and my sleep schedule is like all kinds of messed up so I definitely get like a dark circles. I do manage to conceal them but I love a good eye cream so I'm really really excited. I love the fact that it has caffeine in it because that definitely perks up the skin um, and that's kind of something I need in that area so I am all good with this. Can't wait to try it out. By the way, if you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, when I do have products that I like to test out, that's where I go and I kind of like show you guys how I apply it. So be sure to add me. Um, I'll have my social media little um, icons up above so of course you'll know where to find me so you can follow me. I also recently hit 20k on Instagram which is like so exciting. If you guys follow me on Instagram I just want to say a big thank you. It just like means a lot that you guys even care about that kind of stuff or want to follow me on there so thank you. Um, yeah let's see there's one more thing in this bag. So they have this little perfume sample there's always at least one perfume sample in these bags and it's from Marc Jacobs. So the perfume is called Divine Decadence. It's interesting. I like it. I'm not even sure how to describe it. Let me see what they say on the little pamphlet. So it's interesting and I guess the reason I, why I didn't know how to explain it is because they say it has hints of orange blossom. Um, it also has champagne sense which I can definitely tell it smells like celebratory and also bergamot and at the same time even though it smells like champagne it also smells earthy and woodsy um, I know that sounds like that's like the most random splattering <laughs> of ways to describe something but it actually smells really good I'm thinking of like like classy like being at a fancy party that's what this reminds me of and I kind of want to spray some more on myself because I feel like this like you smell like money you know but in a good way if that makes sense I want to smell expensive shoot I'm gonna spray some more <laughs> so that's it for this month's bag I always love the Sephora Playback. I feel like it's more consistent than the Ipsy bag. Like you consistently get a lot of great stuff packed into one. And it's not like too stingy with the product size, but it's like just right so you could try it out, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please come back for the next video. I really want to show you guys uh, my next natural hair video. So you'll have to stay tuned. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.